would still tell them that I got you. Hey, I was facing death alone. Hey, nobody called my phone. I'm just like, God, do you hear me? Please forgive them, they don't know that they sin it. I'm gonna be a star, please believe me. Hey, dim the lights and you can see me. I'm gonna be a star, please believe me. Uh, yeah. Hey, heart throbbing. Uh, I feel like pain is a life sentence. Uh, gotta get up and keep going. Gotta get up and keep going. Uh, yeah. You know, because having a good work life balance is really important. <laughs> That's why I say I'm going really super hard in the beginning. I think that's too many people that... I'm, I have the Nintendo philosophy. Once a bad product, always a bad product. When I release this shit, I want it to, at the very least, be a good product. It doesn't have to be the best, but at least it's enough where, like, man, you know what? I like this character. This is a fun game. I can play it with my friends. This shit's free. You know what? Here's $45, man. Good fucking job. Like, no one has to think it's the shit, but as long as I'm proud of the work that I've put, and it's enough to at least, you know, with get enough of what I've, I buy with enough people, like, hey, okay, cool, here's a sequel. Let me listen to some of the feedback so I can improve. You know? Like, small, and then it's at that point, it's like, it's things that it's not fundamentally wrong with the game, but like, maybe game de- gameplay designs, this and that. Like, we see with games, right? Like, mm, you know what? Oh, shit. Or someone discovered some tech or something, and then I decide if I want to keep it or not, or improve upon it. Because that's just the end. It's like, there's so many people. And at the end of the day, that's why I want to have even like, like I will have early, early, like let's say on PS4, I can do it. Like, oh, here's a part of the demo. I want to see a lot of people play the demo, right? And it'll be good for content creators. Like, oh, it's the first demo of the, uh, of the game. And it's just going to be the one of the story segments, one of the first missions. And then I'm going to see people's feedback, how they feel, this and that. That'll be my first let go when the game's like 90% done and see if I need to tweak things. And then from there on, I'll have, oh, here's the online component and then see, okay, how good is the online? Is, you know, as it should be, you know, betas and alphas are actually going to be betas and alphas with me. You know, I'm actually sitting here looking and probably going to change shit instead of just, ah, this is just to get the market, you know? And then, and then the thing is I'll release a second one and then people will physically see like, holy shit, he did change it. Like they, they can see that they're actual alphas and betas, not just like what I hate when people were giving me the comments. No, the, the real game's going to be, I did a input delay test for modern warfare three or two. It was. And the beta, and people were giving me shit in the comments like, dude, this isn't the real game. Like, dude, it's going to be exactly the same. Fuck off, dude. <laughs> it's exactly the same. That's why I literally made a review of Undernight 2. It's not out yet. I played the network beta. I'm like, bro, it's not going to be any different. They're maybe going to change some things, but 90% of the game's already basically done. Not much is changing enough to where this review is invalid. Like, it's going to, well, unless they add a story mode like SF6, then all right, I'm wrong, but are they going to add SF6 story mode? Fuck no. So shut up. You know? Fuck. But yeah, no, like, I, I really do care. Like I said. And enough people actually liking what I've been doing. And like, to me, the biggest catalyst is that people like my ideas, like that I was from, from the writing. And just, like I said, the catalyst was just Tekken. Literally, it was Tekken. Tekken was pissing me off with how garbage its balancing is and how stupid it is and its lack of content. I'm just getting fucked over by FPS is how bad their shit. Like, I just literally see every video game and I'm like, bro, other video games, why do you not have fighting games training stages? Why do you have no execution? And then I look at fighting games, why do you have no story mode? Why is your survival mode ass? Why do you not have, like, a zombies mode but for fighting games? Yeah, by the way, we're going to have that. Wait, what's a zombie mode in fighting games? That's a little too wild. But, yeah, I mean, well, not they're not going to be zombies. They're going to be, you know, you're going to... So, let's say, imagine a warehouse, you know, you get... Da, 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 and then you could board up. Like I said, Mars Waifu can just be the, the dedicated border or waifu border, and she can have, like, a, a, her own dedicated screen split screen, and she just goes from border to border or something, so she doesn't have to do much. You know, whatever, her specialty... So like she's a woman who... Can't play video games. Yeah, that's the way. That's the way. Have getting out of this clockwork. Good job, man. Because yeah. that's what I was low key thinking. <laughs> and then Mark can use his Tekken Kazuya, and he could, you know, be like he's in charge of hand to hand. He's really good. Zombies can grab. He can break grabs. Because and then Mar, you get to be the Call of Duty. So he goes, and if the the zombies strike you three times, you're down. You know, because you have no martial arts combat. Like, see, everybody has their own. Like, oh my god, like an RPG. Oh, who would like too many RPGs suck? It's like, dude, if the Archer. Why don't you just play Call of Duty? Uh, the, the, the monk, why don't you just play Street Fighter? And the fucking uh, this healing lady, why don't you just play uh, Mama's Cooking House, but you're a healer? Like, come on, bro. A game can literally no, appeal to everybody. I'm just that there's going to at least be one level where I'm able to take my wife and just throw her into a fucking volcano for shits and giggles. I got you, bro. <laughs> I mean, you have to have goofy shit like that, And bro. it immediately gives her a power-up. <laughs> you know what? That's a good idea. But you get what I'm saying? Like, it's cool to have fun. Like, it's... I don't know, man. Like, I feel like some of this stuff is not even the hard. The thing is, it's like, I don't think I'm a great dev creator, this or that. Like, I think I'm just average, and these are ideas, right? And I think I could, and here's the thing, I could totally implement them. They're not hard, because I know enough. It's just that other devs don't play enough or do other shit, and they're too scared to experiment. That's all it is. It's the same thing why I said, why, I forgot, was why I think I'm one of the best Guilty Gear players. I'm one of the best, not because just I'm good at fighting games, 
It's because most of the people who play Guilty Gear Strive are so mediocre that I'm a god compared to them. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like, oh yeah, no, of course I could beat up a bunch of 10 year olds. They're fucking 10 year olds. And that's what the thing is, is that I don't think I'm a great dev because I'm a great dev. Like, I think I'm average, right? Like, I'm just like any other single dev. The only reason I'm even good is because I play more than just one genre in game and I'm clearly passionate, right? So it makes me above the average indie dev. Like, I'll say that much, right? I don't think I'm that much. Oh, okay, talent. You know what? I'm not even going to lie. Like, I'm really good at Unreal, so fair enough. I'll give myself that. But I don't think I'm a great story writer. I don't think I'm like, you know, I have my weaknesses, right? Like my biggest strength is, like I said, I know action. I know what the people want. My marketing's good. But everything else, like I'm not a, I'm not a fucking artist. Hell no, you know? And uh, the coding, I think I'm okay. I'm not the best coder. Like I have my strengths and weaknesses, right? You got to work with your strengths. I realized that someone said about acting and stuff. Like, oh yeah, sure, fair enough. But at the end of the day, I know what I'm trying to go for. And like I said, I have enough diversity. But at the end of the day, is like I said, the reason I seem God to some people is like, like Baldur's Gate. They just, what I'm doing is I'm, making a game that's it i'm not making anything extraordinary like all oh, oh, this is in this and i like dude 90 percent of my ideas are stolen bro very few of this shit's unique it's just the way i'm implementing it is unique or something like i even told you Marie. remember when i told you the story and i told you what if i told you most of this i just stole from something else and you were like dude this all sounds new to me am i not wrong mar <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know, none of this is new zombies mode and new i have a rhythm game mode the only difference is i combined rhythm game miku but with quarter circles like literally all of it is just Call of Duty, quarter circles. Gears of War, quarter circles. Literally, I'm just stealing from all the other games, but adding quarter circles. That is 90% of my shit. Oh, but Mario Party, we're going to have a Mario One thing Party I really game. do appreciate is the fact that you're even, like, going out and actually experimenting. Like, you already just touched base on this, but, like, more developers need to do that. The reason why a lot of games feel stale and stagnant nowadays is just the because they don't take that chance and actually fucking try other things. Like, if we're going to be doing the same exact shit over and over and over and over again, it's like, man, look, I get it. Like, it was fun the first time, but now we're in the seventh game. We're doing the same exact shit. I would like to try something new, please. It's like, oh, wait, what if we're able to do it, but in reverse? And it's like, wait, what the fuck? What are we even doing? It's the, still the same shit. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, man, but, but e even though you're taking little ideas here and there from different games and implementing it to, uh, to, to attempt it to coherently work together, that right there is such a beautiful fucking idea, and that's what makes shit like that exciting. Like, more, we need more of that. We clearly and need more of that shit. Worst case, my game will just be a Resident Evil 6. Its problem is it had too much shit, and it put it together, and some of it worked, some of it didn't, right? It didn't work in its time. Like, so worst case, my we'll have the next RE6, but people will grow to love it because they're like, you know what? Like, they'll be like, you know what? I think the rhythm game mode is weird. Some people may not like it. They'll be this and that, but like, you know what? I like the story. Uh, some people were like the versus is just mad broken I don't like it fair enough but they're like you know what the rhythm game mode that shit's fucking sick like my waifu you know she only played VR Beat Saber but now she played this like this is what I want I, you know, I want like, your waifu like oh I love VR Beat Saber but then they did quarter circles and they're like you know I, I want to play the fighting game mode and you know what she got into the fighting game she loves this high school girl character she loves her arc and she likes this other dude and then now she actually plays like the fighting game she plays, and guess what because I had a rhythm game mini mode because her waifu loves rhythm games you know, or someone's like, oh, man, I love this fucking wizard shit. Because, you know, I have Harry, Red Bob, Harry Potter. And they're like, to do this wizard, to spell, you have to do quarter circle. So when they say, oh, I can't play. I, I literally want people to leave my game at the very least. not saying, oh, I can't play fighting games. Bitch, that's what you've been doing for this past hundred hours, bro. You've been doing quarter circles. And the final game says, it even gives you a ranking at some point. Like, you have S rank in quarter circles. And then, oh, you can use real goal. Go hop on Street Fighter 6 right the fuck now. Play Ryu and tell me you can't play fighting games. Like, like I want the, the the wife to be like, oh, I can play Ryu, and then then they get why they fighting games are sick. They're like, oh, I get it now. It's like yes, you basically played a hundred hour tutorial, cleverly. Yes, yes, yes. That's what I'm doing. This whole game is an excuse just to get people to play fighting games, dude. That's literally the the final end game. It's just for me shaking my hands like, hey, hey, hey. I made a good <laughs> game, but in reality, it's for you to play fighting games. I got them now. Got them. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I mean, I think. I think that's as far as like I don't know why, how I ended up into this conversation about the game, but I feel like it's really important to really Got it. the whole deving thing. And again, like I see the price of fucking like like talented I am at this, dude. Like holy fuck! Like a lot of these things are not hard to implement. That's because it's gotten easier. We have so much more tech. A lot of these things are explained. There are literally videos on how to do engine stuff and even coding, dude. You don't even need a code, dude. We just have blueprints. Or anyone who knows what that is. And even someone, any who says, oh, you still, don't get me wrong, I'm still use coding because I do fighting games. I need to do it for frame data, right? That's just a given. No, no, there's an even easier way to do it. It's Blueprint, or what else? What are you talking about? Yeah, people are... 
Oh shit! See, look at that. We got just having AI do your shit. Like, no. <laughs> yeah, no. And you know, what? I already use AI for editing, but. I mean, I have to manually do it for frame data, right? But, okay, so that's even good to know. But no, there's a video that said that this proved that, oh, you need to know, cut. like, dude, he literally did an entire level of some game, and it wasn't, like, simple. It was, like, basically a Breath of the Wild cone in just Blueprint. So, uh, you combine, see, we have the technology. Like, a lot of these things that people think, oh, that's so complicated. Like, it's not. It was back in the day because of limitations. It wasn't the ideas. It was the limitations. That was the bottleneck then. And right now, all it is is that the only reason, okay, why didn't indie games do it? It's, like, because at the end of the day, most of these indie de game devs, no offense to them, bro, like, Baldur's Gate guys, like, they probably only play RPGs, you know? They don't play fighting games, you know what I'm saying? Like, you have to be an expertise in your thing. Like, you don't get a guy who does comedy films to do fucking action films. Sometimes you can. Maybe you can. But that's the reason it's, like, a lot of these techniques are not... Even rollback. Rollback is literally free. There's a whole documentary on how to do it, and I even have a vague understanding of how to do rollback. And that's why I even have to make my animations surrounded about that. And, again, I learned enough about animations to get how it works. Like, I know I have to break limbs. That's a code to say, oh, how startup works. Sound design. And then rollback kind of throws that into the corner because like, oh, yeah, you know how when you press punch, you immediately punch? No, in rollback, you have to give it three to four frames before then you see the punch. The game detects it, but the reason we do that is in case the other person doesn't block this or something, we need to be able to roll back the frames. And if you don't have startup frames, it doesn't look as jittery. The fun fact about rollback, and again, because I watched two docu documentaries about it, and I have literally the whole documentation on how to implement rollback and the headroom CPU shit. And again, at the end of the day, I get this because I'm a fucking nerd. No, I'm a fucking nerd. Like, it just, I like that all the things I like. I say game design is different from knowing, you know, how coding works, different from knowing components and then actual history of game development and then game design, you know, level design, animation. Like, I am not an expert in any of these fields by any means. But what I've learned about directors, whether you're a video game or movie, you know enough about each field to where you can at least criticize when someone breaks you. You could be like, you said it, Mar, right? You don't have to be the most intimate, but you can see, oh, yeah, it's a bad acting or some shit like that, right? At least know enough to you can point it out and shit. That's where I feel. The only strengths I have is that I'm MLG as fuck. So I know what I like, right? What's fun. But my ideas are like, my biggest strengths is I'm MLG as fuck. So all the, you know, MLG 3C, I got that. Death, we're golden. Right? We're, we're golden there. We ain't gonna have no problems there, right? I understand fighting games, so I know what makes a game feel good. That's my, hopefully I nailed that, that down. And that I, un again, my other strength is I understand. Like, I literally am Unreal Engine. I see rasterization, ray tree, all this, and I'm like, I'm not lost. All these words mean things to me. You know what, man? I, I can't wait for your third game to release, and it's a Souls-like <laughs> type game, and it just fucking blows everyone out in the fucking water at this point. Well, what the, I like, mean, your the first, first game is going to be a fucking cult classic. Your second game is going to be a big big hit, and it's going to fucking throw yeah, you on the map on so many other fucking world. developers where they're going to want to hire you. Then your third game is just going to win game of the decade for, like, no fucking reason. Like, everyone's going to be like, how did he come up with this incredible game? He's like, because y'all be sleeping, <laughs> and now that I'm here, now you guys are going to wake up and realize, oh shit, we've been doing shit wrong. You're welcome. <laughs> that, uh, when was he going to do a, a DOA beach volleyball? Oh shit, for real, you're right. Gotta do that. Gotta get the titty Hey, physics. you know what? Hey, 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 hey. Extreme Beach Volleyball was one of my oh, favorite shit. games as a little kid. Yes, I was horny as fuck. Yes, everyone else here, I'm pretty sure, has played that. Vio, if you haven't played that game, I urge you to go back and find however you can to play that game. Because <laughs> that game was stupidly entertaining for no reason. And it was janky as fuck. But you want to know what made it good? The fact that all those women looked fucking beautiful. And straight. You all oh, have sinned. Nah. But I've seen so much footage. Oh, nah, the do. only game I played that's like around that field, I would say, was uh, um, it was a Where puzzle it, one. Is it, is it near? Hold on, I have it in my list. Honey pop. Oh, yo, there you go. That's close. There you go. Close enough. Yeah, I played Honey Pop, but the only reason I found that game was because of uh, Dashy. Yeah. And again, like I said, my main thing is, like, I'm being, at least, you got to humble yourself, right? Because if you start getting an ego, then you become 343 and the fucking RE guy, right? Like, I, I know my place, right? Like I said, I'm MLG. I actually know these tech stuff, and apparently I'm just, I, I can't even, dude, you know your talent when even you have to look back, like, damn, you know what I'm good? And that's why I reached in gaming. I'm like, dude, if you can impress yourself, you're just like, you know what, at that point, you can't even lie, bro. Like, someone says, man, you're pretty good if I'm like, yeah, and I'm not even being cocky or anything. It's like, dude, it's as true as just me breathing. I'm like, ah, mastering. Ah, <laughs> you know? Like, I'm sorry, bro. I'm too consistent. No, like, I like that. I like that metaphor. 
I'm still not perfect. Like, I still, you know, you got to keep just like, yeah, I'm good, but I still can bet better, right? Always have the mentality. And that's what I've seen about game developers that, that I love that they ended in one of the videos with 343 versus the O studio. They said, oh, we could do better. They always said, I can do better. They never said, oh, we're innovative. We're good. That's like, tell Mark, what's a good developer? Shitty one. We're innovative. We're we're changing the front. We are, we're special. Oh, man, this is where the fans are going to love. The, no, no, no. They're, they're, all this bullshit. 343, the OG Halo? Like, no, nah, I don't think that they're going to like this. Oh, we, we need to be better. You know, I'm doubting what like they're always second guessing themselves. It's like going oh. to Yeah uh, dog, don't could be better, be better. Exactly. It's like going to a doctor and then you put the, the little temperature on your finger, it says ninety nine instead of a hundred, so that means your health is only at ninety nine health versus out of a hundred. <laughs> and what's funny like i said I, I am technically still solo like most of this stuff i'm doing but like i said clockwork here believe it or not he actually w went to college to be a doctor so all the anatomy stuff we're leaving him in charge and oh, it helps wow. that he's my 3d modeler and he's doing blender so he can actually make you know also oh, does that mean there's gonna be a doctor fighter <laughs> like no, a fighter doctor, that's the, fighting, the, the the fighter that's like It'll a doctor you like do for fucking you, you haka show it would be so fucking dope <laughs> or maybe I don't know. We'll see. Nah, man. You know who I'm gonna make? Well, yeah. Uh, Joseph Mandela. Who the fuck is that? I don't know him either. You don't know. You don't know. God damn it! <laughs> Hell nah. <laughs> this guy's uh, funny as hell. Can you make like a spinoff Harley Quinn though? Maybe Mandela. I said a spinoff. <laughs> Mandela is the angel of death of Auschwitz. Oh oh oh, oh, oh no. Yeah, me either. Oh, I don't know. God damn it, Code C. We're gonna just put a goddamn Nazi in the game. Oh, we, we, we're gonna have hey, yo. a Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. Yeah, can you guys imagine? I'm also gonna have my own campaign that's gonna be better than. Or not World of War. World of War's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. See, see look at that. I even have realistic sound. Like, oh, I can't beat World of War. But yeah, man, look at that. I'm gonna do Call of Duty better than Call of Duty. We'll have a campaign that's just World at War. But, you know, historically. Well, like I said, remember, World at War is grounded, not accurate. Mines will be grounded and accurate. Blah, blah, blah. And trust me, it'll make sense with the story. There's no Hadouken. It leads up to the Hadoukens. Okay, I, I, I found to make it all work. You can ask more. You know what? Know greatest. Oh, man. Loki becoming a mega faggot. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? And no, and no woke bullshit. We all like, no, we're not gonna. No, we're gonna have people safe. You know that shit all the time. Like, well, there goes good. your game. That's just gonna be. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, bro. <laughs> But yeah, like I said. I... Oh my god, I heard the developer of this game does like does not like transgender, so I'm yeah. going to boycott this game and I'm gonna let everyone know to boycott this game because what a transphobic person to even think about <laughs> doing something like that where my experience as a trans person really goes through the experience of needing to cope and cry and needing help and I always need a hug. <laughs> I've never been outside before. That was a trophy you right know, achievement right there. And you know what? These people are the best advertisers, bro. Holy fuck. Oh man. yeah, for real, okay. And the thing is all I gotta say is oh yeah, we're gonna have Nazis in the game with Nazi symbols. Oh that that's it. Free advertisement. Man. Well Wolfenstein was a pretty fire game and no one quizzes as them for having Nazis. Because no one knew about Wolfenstein. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, I love that game. I no feel like that game was pretty popping back in the day where everybody knew. But, but I guess... Wait. Wolfenstein! Before it, the SGW culture popped off. That's that's the other thing about that. That is true. Really Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, no. It's just, like I said, a lot of things I want to do. And like I guess I've already scaled. Like I said, I like how I scaled up in terms of content that I want to have and things I want to do. Because originally it was only going to be a 2D fighting game, right? Because of Unity and, you know, Unity fucked it up. And I was going to be hand-drawn. But, like, oh, God, I can actually do 3D. Like, I literally think about it. I even said, let me make it only black and white so it's cheaper. And I know what good shadow. Like I said, one of the good things artists say is make sure you have good... Like, if, we, if I showed you just the shadow of Kazuya and Jin, you would recognize it immediately. Right, Mar? Like, they're yeah, iconic. I would. <laughs> and that's why I wanted to make it black and white. So it's like, my character should be recognizable just by their silhouette. That's good character design, right? That's just, oh, black and white. And it makes it my art cheaper, right? I had to be realistic because, dude... 2D fighting games are actually more expensive than 3D. Because paying for art is fucking expensive. You know, and I can't draw for shit. And I said, I don't know how 3D animation works. And then, and then oh, I find out, oh, it's not that bad. And like I said, we have Mr. Clockwork here who actually is getting the hang of Blender. He's already got a wife who rigged up and stuff. And goes, mm -hmm. and I'm sending him stuff like I want him to rig. Oh, by the way, did you guys know that there's an, a pump action AK-47? 
No. I'm gonna really? add that to my game. This fucker's gonna model it. Oh shit. Wait, Wait a second. A oh, pump shark, action yeah. AK forty seven. Yeah, dude. That sounds like a motherfucking mouthful. Is it gonna like is it, it is, is it like both AK where the shotgun is in the bottom of the that. And here's the thing. You want to know why I want to have some of these guns? Like, even if they're not, like, balanced or whatever, because we never, like, dude, who doesn't want to play a game with, what was it, a, a, a 50 cal handgun, right? Yeah, no, the, they're 50 real, cal dude. Sniper? just watched some videos about them, dude. There's literally a 50 cal, bro, that's considered a handgun, technically. Oh, hell no. <laughs> the sniper rifle with a pistol grip. Yep. Single shot, baby. A sniper rifle with a pistol grip. That sounds like the most Florida thing you could possibly do. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got, and that's a game mode. Remember how in, in uh, James Bond there's the golden gun? That's going to be the golden gun. It's just someone with that 50 kill handgun. Golden oh gun. Oh my god. You know, it's going to be the party <laughs> game mode. Like you go, like, I don't want to have the, I don't, the other thing is I don't want to have too many game modes. Like, they will be like, they'll be like Mario Party. Like, they'll be the FPS. They'll be like, oh, online, just regular versus, and then party mode and it's gonna have all the different ones like oh here's gold and gold. like it'll always switch so it's never the same right and they're all gonna be fun i want them to focus like one minute you're, you're playing the golden like the 50 cal handgun the other one you're playing uh oh you have to guess who's who's actually the traitor in the group you know shit like that like all kinds of fun shit and it always switches so it's never the same thing it's like i i'm not the belief of trying to split your player base between too many modes i think that's too much i don't want to overload people you know well, that's the other thing too but yeah, no, like I said, it's, it's a lot. And the thing is, it's crazy. Like I said, that's why I love Unreal. Like, literally, it's... That's why someone said right now is the best time to develop. And as someone who is becoming a... Who has become an indie... Like, he's right. Like, there are literally, like, tutorials. Like, literally, I saw... Dude, that's how I did the menu. Was was one tutorial. I'm like, oh, my God. Holy shit. This is super easy. And then, oh, just to link your level, you do this, this, and that. I'm like, what? I even saw a video that showed me how to optimize and lower my file sizes. I'm like, dude, what the... F like, this is wild. Because Unreal does... A no, here's another one. Let me show you guys an example. Like, you know how there's a um, pop-in, right? Like, how the further you are, something just pops away, this and that, right? Like, you guys know that concept, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, even I knew about I didn't notice until, like, PS3, past gen, because I'm, oh, okay, whatever. And then all it is is just a number that you set, like, how far. And then there's, like, three layers, right? There's, like, clo up close, up close, right? Where things are mega textury, like, oh, you can see all the fine details. Then after that, it's, like, really small. Then after that, it's, like, oh, things fade away. And then after that, oh, they just disappear, right? The problem with too many modern games is that... I've seen good games is they have an in between, right? Like they'll put like they they put a, a almost like a scale, like it, it slowly burrs. Like do you ever notice in some games you don't notice it, but in other ones you do. Like oh, you can see like all oh, the leaves just pop in and shit. I hate that shit. I hate popping with a motherfucker. And good games is they blur in between, like they make the distance kind of far, but they blur between like the leaves, like they slowly pop. Like good games, like good like, GTA games did this is that so the, the the main leaves are pop and they'll have different layers, right? Like the first leaves, second, third, and fourth. And they slowly pop in depending on your distance and shit, right? What you're looking. And then you layer this different. And the game is extra work. Like, Unreal has this by default. And all you do is you move a slider. That's what I mean by the game developers are lazy. They just move the slider and that's it. That's why there's such fat pop-ins. They do not have an art style that supports it. And they don't add more layers. You can. And the thing is, Unreal has these tools. The problem is that you can just oh, pop it. All right, I'm done. So that's for pop-in. Another thing that ex explains is that they, people don't know this about pop-in. I didn't know this until I did it. Uh, in Unreal is that there's uh, different textures. It's So you have your high-res texture. You know, if you're up close, right? Even when it pops in, it's like a low-res texture. And then after a while, it pops in the good one. If, you know, it's a shitty game that doesn't know how to do it. You know, that's... And you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, it looks like a blob. You look at it for a couple seconds, then it's high texture. It shows that they have bad texture management, right? Or it just pops in and, oh, but it's super noticeable. Those are two really bad ways to do it, right? It loads in too slow. And the reason it loads in too slow is because you only had the base model texture. That's it, like just the 3D like just shitty, like the lowest res, and then the next one, oh, it's just a high res. And it only pops in once it's close to you, and that's it. Bad way to do it, right? Because it's too obvious. And then the other one is you just have three distances, and that's it. You don't have that in-between, like, if it transitioning. Like, you know, like a little, almost think of it like a speed bump, right? Like, think of it a speed bump that's blurry. You need that blurry speed bump to slowly, not just, oh, a tree with no leaves. Oh, now it has leaves. Just too stark. You got to slowly do it. Okay, <laughs> Your leaves... And they're leaves, but they're low texture leaves. And the closer you get, they get higher texture, and you add more leaves. Right? You, it's slow, and they, no one notices until you stare. And even when you stare, like, oh, that's not bad. That's a good way to do it. And the funny thing is, Unreal actually has a way to auto do this. Like before, this is what you had to do before. You had to get your texture, and then manually. Okay, let me get my high resolution. Let's say a brick wall. I get the. I say I, I'm a photographer. I take a picture of a 4K wall, and I scale it down. I comp I, I compress it. 
People don't even want to compress and take the picture. Oh, uh, you know, I have a GTX 1070. I'm just going to put my 4K picture and uh, or look at look at my offer, right? They get your 4K bricks or wheels. You put it in. Don't even opt Don't even do I uh, just put it in. That's it. Done. You're done. All right, let's go home, guys. That's it because you don't want to stay at home. A good way to do it is take the 4K picture. You you compress it to where it's it's half the size or some bullshit, but it still retains its quality. That's doable. We have things that can do that already. Like That's the thing. We have a lot of these tools in place. It's crazy. You just have to put in the extra effort. And now, okay, you have 4K textures that don't take up an entire fucking mansion. But remember, I'm using a PS3 game, so I'm going to have 1080 to 720. But I'm compressing it to where it's literally a megabyte, but it looks like a PS4 game. So, boom, we have that. And then from there, what you'd have to do is take that texture, and then you have to make lower-res versions. Like, you have to, okay, so this one's one megabyte. You have to make uh, 75%, 50%, 25% for different distances. So when it slowly transitions, like I said, because... 10 feet away, or let's say 100, right? Like, super far away, you're not going to notice if a tree looks like a PS2. It's too far. It already looks like a PS2 to you, right? So that's why that's the way you have that in. Different distances are popping. You don't just yeah. pop in. You have different... It's the same texture, but at a lower resolution. Be that's why when you see things... When, when you, let's say, crouch in Battlefield or something, you notice, oh, man, the rocks look really good. But when you go away, it looks the same. But in reality, it's the same texture, but at a lower res. But you're so far, you can't make it out. And we notice this, right? Like, you guys notice the further and closer you get to a monitor or something things look sharper or worse depending how close you get because it, it's retina it's a thing that we can do and apply and guess what literally, that's what i have to do right i have to literally get the picture okay let me compress it lower it compress lower and you have to manually do this unreal engine literally does this automatically now automatically that's fucking fantastic like, literally, I thought I had to actually do this because that's what I wanted to do, right? And I'm like, wait a second. You just have to enable it? Like, literally, it just takes your 4K texture and auto already does it. You just have to go into the settings and set where do you want it. And here's what I want to do. I'm going to manually like, okay. Because no, it overdoes it. Here's the problem with Unreal. Like I said, it has the tools built in, but you just got to tweak it. This is how you know what I know what I'm talking about. I'd be like, it'll give you literally 100 copies. I'm like, I don't need that many. Let me get rid of the one from 10 feet, this feet, this feet, because it's just too much, right? Let me, let me get rid of these ones. I only want, let's say... Like I said, I think the good number is four to five. So I'll be like, let me get rid of like 75% of these. I only need the main one that's up close. I'm like, I don't think I need anything the high texture. So give me the 90% one, 80, 75, because that's where you notice the most. Then from there, bigger gaps. Like, okay, so 75, 50, 25, 10% non-existent. That's how I would say like, it's just something me is simply going, okay, what are the lowest risk texture? No, because it makes copies. And then I say, Delete. It auto makes the copy. So you put the texture in. It makes like literally 800 copies. I go, no, I only want these. I go copy, paste, delete. I only want these ones. And these are the distances I want them to be at. Like I'll have to manually be like, how can I notice it? Right. And then, all right, cool. I just literally cut the data. Like the next thing, I compressed it. I'm not using over exaggerate textures. That's already what? Me number one megabyte. And then from there, I'm only added an extra megabyte, not 30 because of the 100 copies it made. And boom, that that alone, like I said, hopefully I was able to convey enough how lazy actual developers are because these tools are, but then they're like, oh, I don't even try. And that's why they have these problems. That's why the textures take 20 years to load in because it's going through 20 different texture files of like, okay, okay. And then that's why when you move fast, right? Like even in games like Dude and Cod, you move super fast. I'm like, man, why did this, like you're staring at a tire and it's low res, but the game's like, oh, you're moving too fast. We're trying to loading all these textures. Oh, wait, never mind. You're at close. We're not going to load these. Oh, now, okay. This is the texture you need. And that's why it takes 20 years to load some shit because it's going through 20 different fucking files. Like, literally, because he's like, <laughs> and just set it at the distance that makes sense. Like, you know, like, fuck. Like I said, you going from 80 to 90%, no one's going to notice because it's so small. Because you crouch, it's fast, it's at 80, and then it goes to 90. Now, because now you're staring at the rocks, because the motion blur kicks in, you can't see the 80%. And then when the motion blur is done, because it's not going through 20, 100 files, ah, it's at 90%. And you're like, man, this rock looks good as fuck. <laughs> yeah, but bro, that, 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 that rock file is only a megabyte. And uh, it only it specifically shows up when you're this close to the fucking rock. And even then, they'll be like, man, this one looks kind of funny. Like, they'll look, they'll say it looks good, but like, yeah, because it's a PS3 texture, bro. This bitch is only 1080p. Because even people are like, they'll be like, oh, man, look at how alien. It's like, bro, who's out here staring at rocks on a 4K TV in a multiplayer game? What is let, wrong with you? Let me say something. <laughs> on uh, okay. radio right now, I was playing. I we, we got this guy, right? It's me and this other guy. We, we got this game way before this new guy comes. He doesn't really like to spend above like maybe 40 bucks on a video game, right? So lucky yeah. enough, he got the The game is 50 bucks. He got it for 40, which is pretty cool. And he, he was like, damn, dude, this game is like, with the graphics it is, it's, I believe, like 20 gigabytes or 200. 
I forgot which one it was. I think it was it was twenty. It was twenty, but it's a lot for the type of graphics it has, right? And then, I I there's this map where there's like little grill of food. The burgers look way better than the freaking guns, dude. <laughs> like the details they put on a hamburger, and I was like, yeah, that's where all those graphics went. <laughs> that's that's right, a so let, let that be in. I, that's why literally that's the thing I did learn on is I spent so much time on how to optimize textures because I just like I said what I always said what are my biggest pet peeves I hate balancing I hate things that don't make sense with lore I hate plot holes we're not having none of that bullshit fun is important and I even said I don't want my game to be modern war for 100 gigabyte bullshit how can I optimize the fuck out of my fucking game that is a priority to me and more importantly actually fucking work I don't want glitches I don't want bugs I don't want Fucking input reading problems like Street Fighter 6. If you do a quarter circle, that bitch better quarter circle on Wake Up. And you better DP on Wake Up instead of the game being like, damn, you want to eat this damage because you did the right input and we just don't know how to make a functioning game. Like, no, I, I, just a court, like I said, luckily for me. I is that possible, though? Yeah, it's just the problem so, is they, they focus too much on that other bullshit. Oh, they said they okay. just kind of half ass and then they don't, like I said, if you solely focus when you're starting, you know, you have a good foundation, there won't be glitches in the first place. And if you do, oh, it's easy. Like I said, that's why I said my, my philosophy is like, at least start at your roots and basic textures. Because then guess what? Here's the other problem too is that having these 4K textures slows down when you're in the engine. Because here's the thing about when you're in Unreal. When you're in a game like an FPS in COD, you only have, think of it as a cone vision, right? Like you only see what your character is. Everything else is not being rendered. It's just in the back burner, in the RAM, right? Like the RAM, that's where it is. But when you're in Unreal, you're rendering everything at that exact fucking moment. That's why I like the fact that I'm pretending I'm developing for a PS3 game because what I'm doing is privileged as fuck. The fact that I'm able to, oh, let me just open my map. Go well, last, imagine like a, a Horizon Forbidden West kind of map. All of it open, and I, it just runs at 120. I'm like, okay, cool. Let me just fuck around with shit. None of it slows down. I don't have to wait. Oh, I want to fuck with code. Literally, everything you do slows down because the game's running while you're doing shit, right? That's what happens. So it's like, but no, because of the fact that I'm focusing on PS3 graphics, and I have a goddamn GTX 1070, which is as strong as a PS5. Like, that's again, I'm basically developing a game with a PS5 and I'm pretending it's a PS3. Like, we can understand, right, how huge the gap is that why it's not that hard for me to develop and why I don't have downtime waiting for loading loading screens or the game hitching up. Like, that, that really can fuck you. Like, if you got, you, we've audited here before, right? Isn't it a bitch when the, the thing randomly stutters? It could take a minute and then you're like, oh, oh, and then maybe there's a tweak it causes and now you gotta fix that. Oh, I guess so. I guess I'm trying to. And that's the thing I don't understand what developers like, dude. Stop trying to develop for the hardware you're currently at. Pretend you're developing for hardware like two, two fucking decades ago or some bullshit. Start from there. And that's the problem with too many developers. I think personally for me, they're not humble. Like I said, like you, this is you ain't shit. No one knows who you are. Start from the start. Like if you can make a PS1 game, then you can make a PS3 game, then you can make a PS5 game. But they're like, oh, I'm gonna make a PS5 game, and I don't know how to code. No, what are you talking about? <laughs> Out here trying to develop a goddamn PS7. God damn game oh, all okay. on a PS3. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. No, no, Clockwork nailed it, actually. Yeah, no, he's right. And yeah, I mean, I mean, you, you guys got what I was saying, though, right, with the whole texture thing. Do you think I explained it well, at least? Oh, yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, no. By the way, the best people can get is 2020. So I have, again, because fighting game developers do this, moves are designed around the average reaction time. And for me, uh, again, because I know enough, and again, we have Mr. Designated Doctor here, so he can tell me, you know, so I can do things to be like, okay, what's, I assume, and like I said, I hate popping. Like, one thing, that's like, things in my game is I don't want bugs, I don't want popping, I can't, it's so unimmersive, bro. I just hate popping so fucking much <laughs> that I spent two hours watching shit on, like, how can I make this my game look like it never has pop in? It's like, ah, oh, this is what I do. Got it. You just gotta like there's always pop in, but you gotta hide it well. It's like, ah, yes, 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 yes. Thank you. Because you can only make this some people like another huge mistake is they'll make the pop in distance like say too far, but then your game runs like ass. When you make everything render at 4K at the exact same time, even from 100 feet, like homie, you do not need that 4K tree all the way over there. You're not gonna tell it's 4K, and it just makes your game run like shit. It just does, you know. And that's the thing, and that's why I said I want my goal is too is that if my game can run at 120, 4K, you never while I'm rendering everything in the in the map, 
then it's 100% going to run at 4K 120. Because the other thing is, like I said, I want when Digital Foundry sees my game, like, there is not a single drop in this absolutely amazing, like a fighting game. Like, we see other games like COG, oh, it drops frames here. No, I want everyone to look at my game and be like, yo, that bitch ain't dropping frames for shit. They're like, oh, even on the Switch, bro, this bitch ain't dropping shit. I'm like, because at the end of the day, I am planning to have eight players play at the same time for some of these modes. Whoa, which is eight players? The game. Yeah, it's going to stress the game. I'm shocked that, I'm shocked, dude. If you manage that, good for you, man, because... Eight players? That's and pretty again, damn be, high, low be key. Because of the princess I have. Because again, if the game already runs, remember, consoles are only going to see, let's say, one eighth of the map at any moment, right? Straight up, that's just how it renders. That's how cameras work, whether it's first person or fighting game wise. But if in my engine, it's like I said, that's why I was paying attention. I, I haven't, I like having an FPS counter. I think you might have seen it, Mar, when I send you the clip. Like it has an FPS counter right there at the right. I like that I can do it. I'm like, beautiful, thank you. And I, the second I see it drop past 120, I will bust nuts and find out what's causing that. That, that's why I said I want my game to be 120, bro. 120 needs to be the standard. Fuck 60. Like, like that, that is another thing I am very adamant about. The Switch is like, well, it's a Switch, so it can only like, like I'm being realistic here. Like I am pretending to develop on a Switch, but that's for graphics, right? As far as performance, I'm like. Yeah, I'm going to push the shit out of the Switch, bro. Like, it, it, it's going to do eight players, but this bitch is going to run at 30. But you know what? Most more normies don't care, right? Like, if they're on a Switch, you know, fair enough. And PlayStation 4, Look, though. Man, get, like, the, the Nintendo Switch is able to fucking play Tears of the Kingdom. I feel like anything can be put on that motherfucker at this point. Like, I'm still trying to fucking wrap my head around how the fuck did they even release that game on there. It's, it is a miracle and a half for the fact that that, that counts as, what, eight, almost nine years old? And mm -hmm. it's fucking releasing games like Tears of the Kingdom? No, don't get me wrong. Like this doesn't shit, mean, though. like, a lot of their games are fucking coming out and it's fucking, right. like, Pokemon, perfect example, is fucking trash. It is so fucking terrible, man. The, the way how the mm -hmm. game just basically just fucking, like, it looks like people literally are just, like, slowly melting away and it just fucking, just unhinged glitchiness all over the place in that fucking game. I'm still trying to figure out how the fuck that game even runs. And mind mm -hmm. you, this is on the same console. That literally has tears of the fucking kingdom. Now I'm still yeah. also trying to figure out how the fuck Witcher Three runs on it. It doesn't run great, but it runs good. It runs on it. Play and enjoy it. Right, exactly. Like I said, that's my standard. Can I make it run better than Breath of the Wild? That's it. Like I, I want it to look as good as it. And I actually, like I said, it's funny because I had the Wii, Wii emulator for the Legend of Zelda before Breath of the Wild, or whatever. It's like, oh no, I get what they're doing because they're doing a lot of the techniques I'm talking about. Literally, that's all. Literally, that's all Nintendo's doing. It's like, let's just apply common sense. Really good out star. Okay, cool. And, and like I said, I wanted to run on the Switch. It's just not going to run good. Like, I have genuine expectations. Like, dude, this bitch is going to run at 30. But I wanted to hold a steady 30. So I wanted it to be the standard even by then. I was like, oh, my God. It holds 30 FPS. And I even thought that it was like, because I was very adamant. Like, I wanted it to be 120, 160. 60. I was like, no, it has to be 60. Because it's locked frame rate. Like, literally, I know PC players are going to hate me. That's just the way it is. But, like, you have to have locked frame rates for because that's how fighting games work. Just look at Tekken, Street Fighter, you know, and I know people, oh, this dumbass PC, oh, I want to have 140. Like, no, it has to be either 30, 60, it has to be double, like 30 FPS, 60, because it relates, right? One, two frame links is just going to be the same. It's the same way to, to equate the number, right? Like, one frame on a 30 FPS game is just two frames on a 60, and that's four frames at a 120, right? Like, it's easy to, like, I can't have something that doesn't go, and that's what's going to suck. So the game can run at 30, 60, 120, 240, and then double two four like they have to like you have to always double it. It would make sense. I'm thinking. I wonder if I can make it so it's every thirty integers. Well, I'll see how that works. Right, that might be a bit more complicated. But as of right now, as it stands, you could play it yeah. at double one twenty or one twenty sixty or thirty because it all equally balances out for the frame data. Right, like it won't change. Like it'll like there's more frames. Like basically, if you play at a higher frame rate, some combos will be easier. Like that'll just be the the, the, the you know the gist. And technically, yeah, at thirty, it'll be easy. It'll be harder because you only get one frame, but it's thirty FPS. Technically, you have a bigger window, right? So that's gonna be the weird thing. But they'll be close enough where they'll feel the same. You know what I'm saying? Because again, I'm making a fighting game. That's something you really have to keep in mind. And I and the other thing is why I said I'm I'm okay with being at thirty FPS on the Switch. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is one of my favorite fighting games, and it's one of the core models. It's like what I wish fighting games were. Oh, Tekken with Street Fighter. That's literally what JoJo's is to me. I love that I can sidestep. And it has like quarter circles and combos, and that's the base model. Same with the Naruto Fighter, minus it has no quarter circles. And that's why it's like, and that game ran at 30 on the PS3, and it felt amazing. I was like, if my game could feel good at 30, it'll feel amazing at 120. That's why I said, you know what? I, I'm okay with it running at 30 on the Switch. You know, if it can't feel good at 30, a solid 30, it's not going to feel good at 60, right? That's why I said, Astony is trash. I'm like, dude, 30 FPS isn't even an excuse. I've played games that run at 30 that feel fucking amazing. Dojo's is living example. I don't even know it runs. You know when you sit here like, wait, this game runs at 30? That's when you're like, okay, you did some good shit. You know? <laughs> you, you sit here and, you know? Yeah. But, 
I mean, yeah. I, I think that's about... I think I covered as much of the technical aspects as I could that isn't too fucking crazy. There's obviously way fucking more. Like I said, I, when I was getting into online networking, I'm like, this looks like cancer. I don't, don't want to touch this shit with my football. Don't you need servers for that, though? Like, don't you... And you're going to need, like, a little... I don't want to do servers. Oh. I don't want to do servers. Okay. Because here's the... People are like, server, servers. I'm like, but here's the problem, bro. If my game does good or I move on, then all those, they're fucked. Then people can't access it. I want people be able to still be able to play without having to need servers. Okay. That's why I need, I'm focusing on peer-to-peer. Because I'm no, I'm no game dev, best believe it. So I thought every time something has online, I thought you need servers. <laughs> no, 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 you don't. You don't. Okay. You don't. I mean, I might. Like I said, I'll see how it works. But even doing servers is still a bit. Like, no, seriously. Uh, rollback's already complicated, bro. I'm not even bullshitting you. Like, I, I, might have, I touched it a bit. Already hella complicated. Ooh. And just networking Excuse alone, me. I'm like, holy fuck me. That's why I said co-op, I have to make it work. Online PvP and co-op stuff, I have everything else, like... Having, I think I could do it for like maybe the party modes and the rhythm game because it's not hard, right? Like you don't have to see the other person's input. You guys have your thing, and then at the end it'll give your scores, right? It'll just give a late feedback of where they're doing, right? That's why I feel like that's not hard. You just send the, the signal of where the progress is, right? Like you know, so if you're playing Guitar Hero, you need to see how good the other person is, right? Like right there and then. So it'll be like <laughs> fat lag, but it doesn't matter, right? You know. But other games, like like I said, I'll have my World War Two COD ripoff. There'll just be no online for it because I refuse to mess with that shit. No, no, seriously, I seen the dude, okay, cool, you have two people, they're connecting with the computer, you move left, for some reason the dude just went underwater, I'm like, how? Like, how? Like, you, just because you connected two, they're, they're communicating, okay, cool, we're in the lobby. You do anything, oh, we're, 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 we're just gonna start glitching, so if you ever wonder why you glitch two floors, dude, it's literally online. And I'm just like, you know what? I don't wanna do that, that just doesn't seem like fun, because I've been having fun developing, like, right now my philosophy is like, if I'm having fun, do it. If not, don't touch it. No, because then it just makes development not fun. Like, I, I think to me, I've been having more fun with the creative process of devving than actually playing games. That's why I said, like, people are going to hate me. Like, oh, why doesn't it have online? Man, imagine if this COD game, you know, they're going to love the World War II component because it's, you know, actual Nazi symbols and shit. And I'm not a little bitch that's scared to be authentic. Man, imagine if this game had multiple. And, and everyone's just mad. Oh, that's why there's a meme. Literally, a, tw- uh, a, a dev said, oh, man, they, they, he was making fun of people who say, oh, why don't you just add multiplayer? And I've seen a bunch of devs say, like, dude. Adding multiplayer is a bitch. And after seeing the tutorial video said how to add multiplayer, I'm like, holy fuck, they're right, dude. No wonder you can't just add multiplayer. So now you guys know, like, oh, I don't know why they add multiplayer. Dude, it is the biggest pain in the fucking head ever. Like, it is more of a pain than making the fucking game. I don't know why. And then remember, that's not accounting anti-cheater. People hack your game or this or that. Or trying to get your IP address. It's like, damn, no wonder people don't add multiplayer to every fucking game. Holy oh, yeah, shit, for man. real, right? Gotta make sure you got max security good, on that, dude. <laughs> That's why, too, when I do have, like, people meet online, I'm not even going to try anti-cheat because they're such a bitch. I'll just have it where people can have servers and ban this and that. Like, I have a whole thing I explained that, so I don't want to get too into that. But I feel like people... Someone said the best moderators are just people. It's like, let them self-moderate and things will work out. I was like, you know what? I think that's true because you can have all the anti-cheat software you want. People have gone to the point where you just can't detect... Literally, the software can't even detect cheaters half the time. So it's like, you know what? But a person can always tell when someone's cheating. I mean, you remember the, the story I put up on YouTube, Mar, about the hacker? And I was immediately... Yeah, able to yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, people are just more reliable than computers when it comes to hacking, dude. Like, we just all know when a fucker's hacking. Like, it's just us as fuck. No matter how hard they try, we'll always know. Like, who are you? Who's this Nadia bitch? How come we've seen you in a tournament? Oh, she's clearly hacking. But if I see Daigo do some shit, oh, that's Daigo. You know? Like, and, and sometimes software can think Daigo, oh, Daigo's cheating. It's like the software's fucking tripping. But the software has gotten so good that they could be like, oh, this is, you know, it just finds out the parameters and just goes around it. That's why Call of Duty has such a huge fucking cheating problem. That's another reason why I also don't want to do some modes, even for my FPS mode. Like, no. The FPS mode is going to have a co-op, story mode, maybe a survival mode co-op, and that's it. No fucking multiplayer, because, like, I am not in the mood for people to bitch at me for a barely functioning online for a mode. That's not my main focus. The, you're the, you came to play my rip-off World at War, so you can play my fighting game. I guess there is the bait, and now you play World at War, you know, street version, few Hadoukens, you know, and then... I'm not in the mood. Like I said, I'm focusing what I'm passionate about. I'm not, like I said, I'll touch elements like, okay, here's my first attempt at a World War II shooter. Let's see what people think about it. I'm like, you know what's not bad? It's not the greatest. It'll be a very short campaign. has a nice, fun little survival mode. I can play with the waifu. And that's it. You know, because it's part of the story, right? It's there to expand the story, right? Because I don't know how I would do World, at World War II in a fighting game format. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just has to be an FPS. And that's a huge component I want to focus on, right? I have fighting segments, but, like, that's segments, bro. Motherfuckers be running guns. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure historically we would have heard of a dude going around beating everyone up with their bare hands. I mean, there's that one dude who went around with a sword, but that's one dude, right? Not, not like 90% of the soldiers during World War II. Like I said, there's a fine line of realism and yada yada booga booga. 
But yeah, no, fuck that shit, dude. No, I'm not trying. Like, I already, I'm happy I'm getting more modes than I wanted. Like, we never, originally, none of this was going to be in there, right? Straight up. But now I can add it. Like, so I was like, okay, cool. I had expectations. I'm like, oh, I can do more than I originally planned because 3D modeling is way easier than I thought. It's not as complicated. But multiplayer is way more of a bitch than I ever thought. So 90% of the modes I wanted online, go fuck yourself. Like, nope. I'm just focusing on the core things that I care about. Finding in component and the co-op component. Everything else, go fuck yourself. Oh, and the party modes, right? The party modes, obviously. But no, everything else, go fuck yourself. <laughs> like, if you really enjoyed rip-off World War II, like, oh, man, imagine if this had multiplayer. And they're like, oh, man, why doesn't he just add multiplayer? Oh, it needs to add rank. Like, dude, do you know how much of a bitch it is to just add two of those modes? I refuse. No, bitch. Don't ask me for shit. I'm going to be with Harada. Me and Harada like, yo, we shake hands. Like, oh, greatest gamer in Harada. But their shirt, not when people ask them shit, don't ask me for shit. <laughs> like, fuck y'all. I don't care what y'all say. But if I have, you know, Mar and his wife who are like, oh, man, dude, I fucking, like, you know, fuck it. Hey, buddy, you know, all this game's fucking sick. Oh, me and me and my girlfriend. You know, like, I want to hear comments where, like, the girlfriend and boyfriend are saying here, like, oh, man, this game's so fucking good. It's her favorite game. I can never get her to play anything. Like, those are the people I care about. Not the sweat being like, I want rank more for rip off over two. I don't want to play this fucking game. I'm a little dumb bitch that doesn't know how to do quarter circles, even though the whole campaign got me, forced me to do quarter circles. <laughs> You know? Like, some people are just idiots, and you'll never win. I don't, I'm not trying to win over the morons, you know? Hey, yeah. man. Yeah, that's, no more game dev talk. It, it, it's a lot. <laughs> no, I mean, it's a lot. I think I covered probably 50% of the shit that's going on with that shit, because I still, like I said... I hope you don't mind if... Uh, you, don't, you don't mind if all of that goes on. I pop. mean, I didn't leak anything, I would say, at least. You know, but I am at least discussing on how game devving and shit works. Oh, like okay. I, it's, again, secret... Um, ah, whatever, yeah. whatever. You, you guys get it. You guys are so. Yeah, yeah. This is also gonna be up on the. But then hopefully people know that I'm not bullshitting. And like I said, and we at least know enough. If someone on Twitter says some stupid shit, I'm going after that dev's dick, bro. I'm like, you suck <laughs> at game, suck at devving, <laughs> and I can beat your ass. And like, holy shit, your life sucks. Wait, 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 wait. You should just be like uh, oh. that one guy. Um... Cliff Wazinski? No, that the famous dude, uh, the guy who made Death. St Death what? Stranding? Yeah, uh, Ooh. Hindu. Wait, Death Stranding? Not you Hindu. Said? Well, the guy with the the Asian dude. The famous one that about? that makes movies. He. Oh, that guy! Any time out? Yeah, 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 yeah. Any time out? Yeah. Kamaji. No, no, nah, nah, Kamaji. Oh my god. Come on, like, There's so many Asian dudes. I'm like, can you be more specific? <laughs> No, I know. That, no, I, I, I literally said the one that like hit Death Stranding creator, <laughs> the one that Hideo Kojima. Yes, thank you, <laughs> Kojima. Okay. Oh, the Japanese guy. Yeah. Oh, oh. Be like him, you know. No, he he uh yeah. he keeps his winnings in silence. <laughs> I don't know. Kojima's really overrated as a director. I've learned. He got lucky with Metal Gear. What? I know. Why don't they make that into a movie? What? Metal Gear? Oh, it would be that would be a really good movie actually. And this is funny. That was his inspiration. Is a lot of movies. Type of movie it is or game it is. It would be a pretty good game. Yeah, or movie you mean? Or yeah, game, yeah. movie. But yeah, any closing thoughts, Mar? Because I actually do gotta go to work soon. So I'm mean, sorry to leave you guys in the. Oh five no, no, I appreciate it. Nah, man, it's perfect. It's just a nah, man, no, it's it's been fucking entertaining as hell. Just listening to like the process of development, the, the type of things that you want to be able to put into your game. The laziness of other developers not being able to put their shit, the good shit into their games, like they fucking are. Man, Anyone like who this, says they're not, I'm coming for you. Like this, this literally eye opening turned into like three different podcasts. <laughs> in honesty. Yeah, for real. But uh, no, man. But uh, no, super insightful. And like I ended up saying, man, I can't wait to actually see where that goes, man. Like I'm, I'm fucking pumped for you. I mean, like I said, I wouldn't set the expectations to just moderate. Like I said, there's obviously ideas. Who knows? Some of it might be in the same. But at the end of the day, I'm planning realistically, like, oh, there's going to be, like, secret. Right? And that's why I said, too, being moderate with expectations, money, because got, you got to, at the end of the day, you got to go around budget, right? Because right now, luckily, I have enough free time. I might get a second job soon. That's going to fuck over development. And like I said, once my PlayStation Plus runs out, like, I literally, I want that way the system can't distract me. Then, oh, I'll only dev. That's why I said, don't let me get rid of my backlog so I can get more stuff on game development. Let me get my PS Plus out the way. You know, so I, I game dev here and there, right? But, you know, when you have distractions, it's hard. So I was like, wait, wait, wait. I get some YouTube shit, play games, you know, bestie here, and then help the YouTube channel. And then at a certain point, for sure, it'll be like, once my plus is expired, like, I'm still, I say, want to get demo. And then, but when I go hard, it's like, oh, I got nothing better to do. 
even if I do get this, let's say the second job, it's like, okay, cool, I have a second job that takes at least like five hours, right? I still got my other job. It's like, so those five hours I could have played, okay, now I'm getting money. That makes it so I can actually put funding into like, you know, art and this and that, whatever, and it all goes good towards that. And if it does good, fuck that second job, yeah, full time. And then, you know, once I have a game out or whatever, more shit, it's like, all right, cool, break time, time to play other games, you know, as a Chad dev should. It's like, okay, cool, my game's done. I'm gonna go play some DMC or something. Cause yeah, I'll play. I get my backlog. I want to get rid of my backlog to help me, you know, get more ideas for devving and stuff like Dragon's Dogma. But you know, just playing a game once is enough. You you gotta play at least a couple times, you know. Like I want to go hard on DMC games, for example. Like once I'm done. Man, I, wanna... I swear, mate, you brought up Devil May Cry, and now I'm absolutely worried that the next iteration of Devil May Cry is gonna be so microtransaction heavy. I mean, dude, we already saw with five, so. I know it's a slim chance for me to hit this 200 million on the Mega Million, but if I do win it, I'm going to make sure I'll buy you a little place so you can work on that game. You know what I mean? We get one of those little suit things, you know, we make it a little oh, make it more easier you know for you. He said funny. No one know, right? Did they? I'm going to make a gaming know. studio, dude. Oh, by that's the way, what if I said as a final one, what if I said as a flex at some point I want to make a DLC patch that's going to be free that the second GTA, their six comes out or whatever? Oh, here's my version. It's Vice City. Just, it's just gonna be like a faithful reproduction of Vice City, but my version, oh, even graphics wise, and everything. Just, just to flex on them. I just hope you got That's how big dick I want to be. get like a like, copyright like lawyer. Dick. No, dude, it's literally just a setting. They can't copyright that. I'm just I'm saying, dude. They they, they they were able to sue Saints Row. Anything's possible. Oh me, but it's super powered characters. They're not just goddamn <laughs> regular dudes. Oh, okay. I guess it's better that just way. Just in the setting of Vice City, you can steal cars and stuff, whatever. Like it has the GTA component, but it's my take on it. I'm doing enough visual stuff where people again the nostalgia. Like you're saying, like, come on, bro, who's gonna? Okay, who wants to play? What are you gonna play? Booty Water GTA Six that's woke or the Chad Vice City, you know, inspired game? Like the graphics are even PS2 as fuck. Because we never, I don't give a shit about graphics. Graphics click my left nut. Like, my characters are not gonna have pores. Like I do not need someone to look that realistic. Like no, they have PS2 s textures. With really good shading that's close to a PS3, so they look like PS3 characters, but just not janky. That's all it is, bro. Just really good PS3 textured models. Like, seriously, like, bro, I looked at a PS3 Nathan Drake, I'm like, yo, that looks realistic. I look at PS4 and PS5, I'm like, homie, this looks like a PS3, but just in higher res. And to this day, I still think that. And the only difference is like, oh, wow, pores. Oh, wow, that's so much better. Like, when I first seen a PS4 demo, I was I was literally unimpressed. I'm like, dude, this, this, this it looks like a PS3. What the fuck's the difference? You know, like the only, oh wow, they exaggerated the part. I feel like when I looked at PS4 trailers at first, I'm like, these just look like over exaggerated PS3 graphics. Like, it's the same shit. Like, I was genuinely impressed. Like, I literally like, watched Watch Dogs on PS3, PS4. I'm like, it's the same game. I didn't realize they had different resolutions. But even then, the, that thing, I couldn't even notice the resolution difference. One was 720, one was 1080. Like, we have PS, we peaked at PS3, and I am going to prove that point. Good example. That's why I said Monster Hunter Rise, right? Built on the Switch, looks and runs okay. Then it comes to Xbox yeah. Series X. S. S looks god tier. Runs at 4K 120. Like, what the? That's what I want. I want people to be like, foaming at the mouth, bro. If you own a PS5, they're like, this is the only 4K 120 game I have, dog. And it plays at 8 players, too, with good online. And it's the only game you're going to have that does that, bro. Yeah. God ain't doing that. Why? Because it's too busy with 4K textures. You ain't doing that shit, boy. Oh, boy. You know, I, I just want to be a like, honestly, I just want this to be a giant. At the end of the day, I want this to be a giant flex on the AAA gaming industry that, dude, if one dude can do this shit, like the bare minimum, like, I don't think this is hot shit. This is just a bare minimum. Here's game modes. Fun. And my idea. Done. That's it. I'm going to go home. I know you don't you know, care about this. Nothing. Part. Uh, it's Baldur's Gate. Like I said, I want to be the Baldur's Gate for, you know, the FTC. And then also other genres be like, haha. Be kind you know, of I again. want to be number one on bitch like I, said, I care more about popularity than money i'm gonna be honest i care more about i want my game to be the big dick i want it to be the new pp and then i get the I game out. of the year when yeah. you show up to the game of the year if, you, if your game got nominated dude i'll show up one time and they'll never invite me because i will talk too much shit about the game awards <laughs> i'm being i can already so, see it dude so, like, so let's say you... I, mean, I won't even be there someone will be there in my place to talk shit for me because i refuse to waste my i'm like because unlike some people i don't waste my time with points. can i take like, your ticket then <laughs> Yeah, go for it. You, you can talk shit Thank for you. me, dude. I don't give a fuck. Oh, I, I, I may not be able to do that part because I definitely would like to go again next year. <laughs> well, you're speaking on my behalf. That I'm is true. From, uh, Moist Critical. Where sure. I had two dudes come in his place. Mm -hmm. But, you know, acting like him, you just talk shit. Yeah, there you go. 
Codes, we'll have Codes. He'll do it for me. There you go. Yeah, that's true. Codes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I can be invited to the pedophile club next year. What right. a shame. Yeah, I already have a literally. I already have a speech in mind to give at the Game Awards, bro. That someone's gonna say for me, just talking uh, matches. Like all your games are cheeks. I'm okay. Hey, dude, fuck you, prompt. I will stay here as long as I want. Cause you guys heard about that, right? The whole the stupid prompt telling people, hey, hurry it up. Yeah. Cause no, you dumbass. Like, dude, I'm just gonna harbor. I'm gonna treat the shit out of them. We, we never are... inviting my again, dude. We talked about that in the last podcast about how people were rushed, in my opinion. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, right now it's hopeful, and that's why I said I want to at least get the demo out and then get enough for okay, yada yada booga, and then send I can put it up on Fiverr and then people fund it. And then if I have funding, the thing is, if I get funding, then I don't even have to take the second job. That means I can literally focus full time on deving, right? Mm. And I think I want to say this much: like I don't, I don't at least think I'm greedy. I'm not gonna spend it on whores like that one dev did or all this and like Damn. dude, it's just to give me money so I can eat so Wait, I can go back to work. What dev did that? I don't. I, don't it was, know I forgot it was some game that was in uh, like I said, not Fiverr. It was a uh, Kickstarter, right? They had the funding and everything, but one of the devs was an idiot and just wasted it on like hoes and strip clubs. I'm like, that's Bruh. crazy. Oh, like, that's sometimes dead. You, again, you can't trust some of these fuckers with your money. Hopefully, people can trust me with their money. Right? Man, sorry, that guy was cool. Oh my god. Oh, damn. Yeah, clockwork. You like the bad things. Yeah. Like said, final thoughts for you guys. Like, I'm sorry I keep going up because, like, I mean, I can go to work whenever no, I want, good. but I also want to. Point. <laughs> I just don't want you to be late to work. So. <laughs> we were supposed to play something. No, oh, man. Final thoughts. I mean. The hell, man! Here's to the future of fucking gaming, man. Uh, you know, more power to the indie de devs to make whatever the fuck they want, and hopefully, shit just fucking goes well, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and you know, like I said, I like fair criticism. Some people say it's a bit too much. I'm like, you know, I get that, but trust me. It, yeah, hopefully, I explained how fucking easy it is to do Unreal Engine. Like, it's easy to do stuff in there, but it's hard to optimize. And lucky for me, that's not the hard part. If in 30 minutes I figured out how to optimize a demo they give you. That ran like ass. And all I did is tweak with the settings and be like, oh, I know this, this. Like, dude, why is ray tracing on by default, bro? Like, that's what I mean. Like, again, look at the Batman. Okay, last one, like I said, the Batman developers are like, oh, we can't turn ray tracing on. I'm like, that sounds like bullshit. But they, they were right and wrong. You can turn it off. They just didn't know because they're fucking idiots. Literally, I shit you not, bro. You just go on the right, click. You see all these weird things. Go down to, like, rasterization and all this shit. They probably don't know what that is. Go down. The lighting settings and go all the way to ray tracing and there's a literal box that says ray tracing and you tick it off done i'm not bullshitting you it's that fucking easy all because i randomly decided to fuck with the menus and i'm like oh no wonder this thing ran like ass it had ray tracing on by default i'm like no i don't want that get, get that shit's trash Man, i did minecraft with the ray tracing i took my 120 and dropped it down to 24. Oh, yeah, no ray tracing in my game for you, weirdos. Like, oh, so it doesn't have ray tracing. Oh, cool. Yeah, you go play a slideshow, dog. Have fun with that. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, like I said, any, like, it, it, that's what I mean. Like, it's so easy to do this stuff, but as long as you know what you're doing, it's like, okay, cool, the game can run. Like I said, it, it's like, it, it, no, you know what it is? It's the equivalent of Forge mode. They basically made it so easy. Like, oh, did you do Forge mode? You can basically do Unreal Engine. Like, it's that easy. Like, easy to make games and levels, hard to actually optimize because you have to know what the fuck you're doing. You know, and same with animation and other stuff, right? But regardless, like you and Var, you you and Val right now, bro, you can sit here and oh, I'm gonna make a little one. You guys could do it. Would it work good? Would it be optimized? And hail to the fuck no, it would run like cheeks. You know. <laughs> yeah. So All right, then on that note, guys, man, we're gonna go ahead. We're split ways. We're definitely gonna be jumping on next Saturday for some more info. Yeah. Uh, next Saturday should be interesting. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering where where this one's gonna go. I feel pretty good. Yeah, I, I feel like I got more talk time in this than the last one. Well, I'm gonna split it up into parts. So the first hour I did a lot of good talk time. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, look, this is my fault. I'm not gonna lie. I think I went the most, but the no, dude, too... no, you good. I'm, like, you I'm just, hard, I'm just trying to, I'm thing. trying to prove myself. That's all. No, nah, no, nah, you, you good. You oh, good. You <laughs> I said you you started this so this is your fault. <laughs> <laughs> I like to uh, I I don't I I can't wait to listen back to see how we translated to each conversation because <laughs> I know for sure we went back we went to Marvel and then we went to something else True. and then we went back to Marvel. <laughs> that I do True. remember. I have notes. I took I mean, notes to make it easier for because myself. Because we had nothing to really go off of, so I didn't like. If, if we were on subject, I would have never brought it up, right? But we we're gonna, oh, I whatever. See. We just got me ranting. And hey, we know but how it's I'm good. good at ranting. 
It was good. It was well, good I guess to hear. It's a good time to update you guys, right? That's yeah, that, it, it is a good update because honestly, you added more details than last time. So it's actually really great that you brought it up. I feel like that's not even the. I'm going to be honest, the game development thing, I think, is its own thing. So, Mar, you can scratch that from your shit. We'll keep everything else. But the development thing, I think, I'll keep on my end because I did the fuck out of it with the AI and shit because it is a lot. So it'll be easier on your end. Plus, it's my shit. So you, you can't have my game dev shit on your shit. So we'll kick your ass. Yes. But what about me? <laughs> Oh, you're fine. You do. Oh, okay. He doesn't care about you. You're not at the right. Bruh. Damn. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I'll let, we'll let you go, Mar. You got to do your shit, family, man. All right, then, man. Have a good one, guys. It has been a fucking blast. Hell yeah. You yeah, don't have a new sign-off? You got to sign off this time or no? Yeah, I know you had a signature one, but do you have a new official one or no? Not yet. Or are you talking about Mar? No, Mar. Okay, fair enough. No, 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 I don't have an official one yet. I'm still trying to come up with one. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll do mine then. So, Mari, he's off already, and then me. Uh, you know, and remember, everyone, every day is great when you're chibi. Mar, or not my bad, vile. You? Mine is, uh, stay vile. Stay not too vile. Not as vile as clockwork, but vile enough for you to be, like, my type of vile. Till then, right. we'll see you guys on the next, next next video because i'm gonna use this intro like a lot of times <laughs> it just ain't shit but hoes and tricks there we go there. so always no trust is left is gone yeah it's gone might as well speed up open the legs i might as well beat up yeah love the money i never could get enough i may hey i might as well call you blood you're not as hot as me i got the heat though no talking down on me you still beneath no oh, no i know it's hard to believe i flip for keeps though yeah. up up past that tree we can't disagree she get on her knees she got a degree swimming seven seas but i'm still floating though